In this video, we watch a BIOS chip close up in its natural environment, HP wants us to buy a new laptop, and we hack away at some passwords. I bought this secondhand HP ProBook 440G6, but when I wanted to install Linux from a USB stick, it wouldn't let me change the boot options. Now, I really doubt if this is a security feature or just a way for manufacturers to sell more laptops, but we are not having this of course. Let's remove the passwords. The first thing you need is this CH341A IC programmer, which is available for less than a pint of Guinness in a cafe at AliExpress. So I bought one instead of the pint and even had enough money left to make myself some orange juice. This programmer comes with a handy clamp that we can clamp on the BIOS chip while it is still on the board, so no need to desolder. The BIOS chip on this laptop is located here and looks like this. We then downloaded AS Programmer at the link below and connected the programmer to a USB port. We then detect the chip and although the writing on the chip says 25Q128 JVSQ, the 25Q128FV will do fine. After detecting the chip, we read it. After reading, we verify the contents of what was read with the actual IC. We then save the binary data we just read to a file. We open the binary file in a hex editor. I am using hex workshop here, which I will link below. We find the string user cred and replace everything after that string with zeros up until we see lots of four FFs divided by sometimes four and sometimes 12 zero zeros. We save our work to a file, then we load our edited file into the programmer software, then we erase our BIOS chip, and finally we write the data to the BIOS chip. And that's it, we hacked away those passwords. Let's start the laptop and see if we can access the BIOS now. There will be lots of restarts, but the most important thing is that the BIOS key is the escape key. If you press it right after the HP logo is shown, it will take you into the BIOS. Sometimes the logo appears just before a restart and will not get you into the BIOS, but if you keep pressing escape after every logo, you will get there. And we have access to the BIOS. The following steps we should do is reset the security features to factory, which goes like this. Then we delete the BIOS logs because there are some weird dates in there.
Then we load the factory defaults for good measure. And then we are done and we are able to boot the laptop from a USB with Ubuntu. So best of luck removing passwords for your own laptop. Please let us know in the comments if you were successful and which laptop you were able to use this method on. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope you will join me in the next video. Bye then!